Design, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm new to this. I've been port painting for a couple of years, but this is the first time I've actually shot a video. Um, so, while I'm pouring, I've shot a couple of them, but I had to hold the camera and do it at the same time. So, it ended up being like four videos. And since I don't know how to video edit, there was four separate videos. So, I got a tripod and now I can do it hands free. So, I'm excited about that. Now, let's see if we can get through a video. What I'm gonna do, I have a 12 by 12 canvas. canvas. I already have my um, layer of white paint down. And I don't know if you can see my colors, but I have light turquoise, burnt sienna, darker turquoise, kind of a gold and white. Now, I do have, um, satin enamel paint mixed in with the white and just a tiny bit in with the turquoise and the just the turquoise i think i think i left it out of the the um, burnt sienna and the burnt sienna has a little bit of copper mixed into it too and the gold um i'm kind of experimenting here i haven't had any luck with the cloud effect yet so that's what i'm going for so I'm going to go ahead and pour my paints in my cup here. Um, also, my paints are mixed with Floetrol and paint and just a little bit of Liquitex gloss medium. Um, I don't know if y'all use Floetrol, but I make sure that I strain mine beforehand. So I just, I strain it from the bottle it comes in into another bottle so that there's none of those little gooey lumps that um, it can give you sometimes. Um, this gold, I noticed is kind of, was kind of old. It's one of the old, um, it's one of the old bottles. Um, I don't know. It's one of those and it's called Antique Gold. It was kind of old and I, I uh, mixed it first and there were so many lumps in it and when I stirred it, it broke up the lumps and there was lots of little lumps, so I went ahead and dumped that out and poured it again, so hopefully I won't have a bunch of lumps in it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour these into my cup. Now, I'm not exactly sure if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but I'm gonna start with the white on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go with the dark turquoise. Okay. And let's go with the gold. Now I spilled half of this trying to set the camera up, so there's not a whole lot in here, but it's kind of an obnoxious color anyway, so I think um, I'll just use a little bit of it. And let's see here. Go with the light turquoise. Now I should need about five ounces of paint, and I'm thinking I'm pretty close to that. I don't measure um, or weigh it. Um, I kind of measure it to ounces, but I don't weigh it. Okay, so we've got some of it, the first part poured here. So now I'm gonna put some more white. And my white is kind of sinking, so that's good. And then what did I do? A dark turquoise. Yeah, it's old age work in here. Can't remember what order I put them in. And then, eh, what did I do? Gold? Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Not a lot of gold. And then, turquoise can you hear the music in the background I put on blues I usually listen to metal and rock and I didn't think a lot of people like that too much yeah I'm 59 years old and I still listen to metal and rock so yeah I'm not your typical old person okay so I've got it here I got it all poured right here in my cup. Okay, I'm gonna move these little cups out of the way. I've got my 
little box here. I just take boxes and slice them down to to this and I line it with butcher paper or freezer paper so that way when the paint in the bottom dries I just peel it right off and use them for jewelry or something which I haven't done in a long time but I have oh dripped piece drip some it's pretty by the way all right